therapy. Top three anti-metabolites are methotrexate, that is a folic acid analog, mercaptopurine, that is a purine analog, and fluoracil, that is a pyrimidine analog. There are a few more anti-metabolites, but you must know for sure these three before the exam. Which one of the three is the most common cause of folic acid deficiency? That one would be methotrexate, because the mechanism of its action involves depletion of folic acid. Yes, methotrexate is our T-Rex. It's a folate analog. It inhibits dihydrofolic acid reductase enzyme. Therefore, we cannot activate folic acid to make tetrahydrofolic acid, which is the most active form of folic acid. So tetrahydrofolic levels drop. Since tetrahydrofolic acid is required for purine synthesis, therefore purine level drops. The consequent of this would be DNA, RNA, and protein synthesis inhibition. Of course, this would badly hurt the cancer cells and all dividing cells of the body. What are the main side effects of T-Rex? One is myelosuppression. That is a standard toxicity. It also uniquely causes neurotoxicity, seizures, and encephalopathy, especially if you give intrathecally. It has a strong hepatotoxic and nephrotoxic effect, especially when you give high dosages of it. It uniquely causes pneumotoxicity and pulmonary fibrosis, especially in the children. It is a teratogen, therefore must be avoided in the first half of pregnancy. It also promotes abortion. It causes many other standard sorts of side effects. Now, here is the unique thing you must know about the methotrexate. We have an antidote for it, and that would be lecovorine, that is also called folinic acid. It is practically an active folic acid. Upon application, it is preferentially picked up by the normal cells. It produces, very quickly, tetrahydrofolic acid and the so-called rescue therapy because it reverses the myelosuppression and other adverse effects of folate deficiency. Normally, it is used within 24 hours after high-dose methotrexate therapy to rescue the normal cells. So, T-Rex for methotrexate. It is a teratogen. Rescue happens with leucovorine. It causes respiratory toxicity in children. It causes encephalopathy and neuropathy as well. So what does T-Rex do to people? It breaks the bones and suppresses the bone marrow. It wrecks the liver. It rakes the children's lungs. It rips the brain. It aborts the fetus. And it tears the kidneys. A 50-year-old female patient with breast carcinoma and renal impairment has been receiving aggressive methotrexate therapy. She is now admitted to the hospital with severe side effects related to her therapy. From reading the case scenario, you would infer that T-Rex would be indicated for the treatment of breast cancer. What two organs are mainly affected by the methotrexate therapy? Actually, several organs are affected. Let us start with two of them for now, and we'll add more to the list later. One of the two organs would be the liver, wherein we get toxicity. The other would be the kidney, wherein it causes nephrotoxicity. As you will also see in this case, she was admitted for renal impairment history. Can you add two more organs to the list of organs that would potentially be damaged by methotrexate? If I want to add two other organs to damages that T-Rex does, those would be the lungs, wherein it causes pulmonary toxicity. And, as we've said before, this is more profound in the children. And the next organ would be the brain, wherein it causes encephalopathy, especially if you give it intrathecally. What are the top two indicators of renal impairment? The gold standard for suspecting renal impairment would be increased plasma creatine, and BUN. Now, if T-Rex were the cause of these findings, what would be the most desirable medication to slow down, in particular here, myelosuppression? The answer would be IV leucovorin, that is also called the rescue therapy. To reiterate, leucovorin is an active folic analog. It is preferentially absorbed by normal cells, but not by the neoplastic cells. So the normal bone marrow cells can pick it up, and they can get rejuvenated. And you can tell it also may help other bodily non-cancer cells as well. What are the top three indications for T-Rex therapy? 
The top three indications would be breast cancer, Burkett's lymphoma in children, and ALL leukemia. What is ALL? It stands for acute lymphoblastic leukemia. T-Rex therapy is also indicated in some inflammatory conditions. What are the top two such conditions? Those would be rheumatoid arthritis and psoriasis. Can you prescribe T-Rex to a pregnant woman? No, because it's a teratogen, and it also causes abortion. Now here's the deal. What if abortion is the primary goal? If for some reason a woman has to go through abortion, let's say she's gone through some genetic studies, and they have identified some serious chromosomal abnormality in the fetus, then she can use T-Rex. But this time you should add misoprostol, which is a synthetic prostaglandin E1 analog, and promotes the contractions of the uterus. What is the mechanism and protocol of methotrexate and misoprostol treatment for abortion? Up until 2005, methotrexate and misoprostol combination were very popular for abortion. The T-Rex was injected into the buttocks on day one, and then on day seven, misoprostol, the patient inserted tablets vaginally. Methotrexate stops the cell division, inhibits and loosens up the trophoblast, and kills the fetus. And misoprostol causes cervical dilation and uterine contraction. Since 2005, another drug combination has replaced methotrexate and misoprostol combination for induction of abortion. What is that combination? Currently, a newer combination composed of mifepristone and misoprostol are used for the abortion. Mifepristone, an anti-progesterone drug, detaches placenta from the uterine lining. Of course, without the attached placenta, the fetus does not get food and oxygen, and thus the fetus dies. Then, with the help of intravaginally inserted misoprostol, within one to three days, the uterine contraction expels the dead fetus.